Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some humid conditions across the region this morning, seeing uh, mostly clear skies across the area with just some serious cloudiness primarily. We are seeing some hazy conditions with some Canadian smoke in the upper levels, but overall, we're going to see hot and humid condi conditions today. A very slight chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm this afternoon most likely will be north and east of the area and uh, looking at a chance below 15% of that today. So taking a look at our sounding from this morning, freezing level 15,100 feet, winds are light out of the west and low levels, uh, becoming more southwestern than the mid levels and still remaining light about 10 to 15 knots and increasing slightly out of the southwest up to 44 knots at 25,000 feet. Current surface analysis, we do have good amount of activity over the Gulf Stream this morning, seeing a weak trough just off our coast as well as high pressure off the west. We have this high pressure in control in general today. Uh, with this cold front starting to push towards the region tomorrow. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see a good amount of uh, milky appearance to the satellite this morning associated with that uh, Canadian smoke in the upper levels. Are seeing some serious cloudiness across the region this morning, so a good amount of filtered sunshine. We'll see a cumulus cloud field develop uh, across the region this afternoon, but overall seeing VFR conditions today. Taking a look at her model, um, next 48 hours or so, you can see any shower or thunderstorm activity for later this afternoon looks like it should be uh, across the Delaware beaches or well north and east of our region. Moving into the overnight hours, we're going to have this upper level disturbance start to approach the region from the west and looking like we'll have a chance of some thunderstorms possibly by as early as 8 local tomorrow morning and continuing throughout the day on Wednesday with this disturbance moving through, uh, giving us a uh, decent chance of some rain showers and some uh, thunderstorms. Uh, with the uh, humidity we have in the regions, could see some heavier showers and thunderstorms across the region. Um, looks like the best chance of those showers and thunderstorms will come during the afternoon and evening hours uh, for our Wednesday. And look at the European model for the next few days, uh, looking at today into tomorrow with that uh, weak cold front moving through the region and disturbances along that, giving us the chance of showers and thunderstorms. And into Thursday, it uh, looks like we'll have uh, additional disturbance moving through the region, giving us a chance of showers and thunderstorms once again. And uh, we'll have a cold front Finally, past the region, strong cold front, past the region on Thursday night and Friday, going to give us additional chance of showers, thunderstorms before we start to see some drier air move in for the weekend, uh, possibly seeing a bit of reprieve from our humidity on Saturday and Sunday, uh, high pressure in control in general. Uh, so could see uh, some better conditions compared to what we've had with this humidity uh, for the weekend, um, possibility of a pop-up shower, thunderstorm moving into Monday. European model here, uh, kind of overdoing the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity on Monday, as it appears now. So looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have a high today, a hot 91 degrees. Should see those winds start to shift out of the southwest, uh, still holding on to a south-southwesterly wind this morning and light. Uh, that is keeping our dew points up in the, the mid to upper 70s currently. Uh, should see those winds shift off the land here uh, shortly, and with that, the dew point will decrease. Our temperature should rise in the lower 90s. Moving into the overnight hours, seeing a low around 75. As I mentioned, uh, southwesterly winds around 7, 12 knots this afternoon, then becoming uh, south overnight in, by tomorrow morning, seeing more of a west-southwesterly wind at 5 to 10 knots. We'll see our heat indices uh, just under 100 degrees today as it appears between 95 and 100 degrees in general from now throughout the afternoon hours. Our v we'll have VFR conditions today uh, through the next 24 hours, it appears, for our Terminal forecast uh, is going to see an increase of our mid and upper level cloudiness during the overnight hours, and we'll see a 20% chance of a thunderstorm after 8 local tomorrow morning. We'll see a 15% chance of a thunderstorm between 6 and 8 local on Wednesday morning as well. We could see that shower in the vicinity uh, after 12 local this afternoon until 1600 local, but overall looks like that is a, a very slight chance of occurring. Our tides are running normal. I'm looking at Wednesday and the Thursday. Wednesday, mostly to part of the cloudy, the chance of showers, thunderstorms, especially in the late afternoon and evening. We'll see heat index values around 100 degrees, high of 88 degrees. Our Wednesday night, chance of showers and thunderstorms during the evening, and then partly to mostly cloudy with a slight chance of patchy fall, glow of 73. And for Thursday, partly to mostly cloudy with a chance of late afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. Heat index near 100 degrees once again on Thursday, high of 87 degrees. Uh, right now, Wednesday looks like a better chance of rainfall with the disturbance moving through the region. Thursday, some of the models are indicating we'll have a, a decent chance as well, but we'll continue to monitor that as models uh, are not showing very good agreement on that uh, possibility of showers and thunderstorms moving through the region for Thursday afternoon and evening. 
So the next seven days, looking at uh, a good chance of some showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday, uh, p.m. scattered storms on Thursday, Friday, back to hazy, hot, humid, 90 degrees for a high. And we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 80s from Saturday through Monday. A uh, slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm popping up on Monday, as appears now, a 20% chance. Uh, overnight lows in the 70s, so uh, looking like very typical summertime type weather for our area for the next seven days with uh, a few days, some scattered storms and uh, our highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s. That's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Hope everybody has a great day today. We're back tomorrow morning at 15, 10 a.m.